10 years ago. Yeah. It's 10 for us at Back like, when we had arms and stuff. Three times ten. Oh, that, you know what? That's exactly yeah. what I'm thinking of. This is gonna be a good game. Who's Spud playing with? And also, like Sock? a lot of the, a lot of the doubles combos are like you. Uh, yes, he is teaming with Sock. So it's Spud and Sock against Fox, Fox, Fox. Yeah, lots Marth. of foxes and one Marth, I guess. But a lot of the good, the most effective combos in doubles are your bread and butter. So it's a good opportunity to practice like your up throw, up smash as Fox, for example. Yeah. Because you don't want to do a ch full chain grab. And, you know, practice yeah. your, like, shine spiking against characters because it's much more effective. And, like, even if the optimal edge guard is, like, grab ledge, vulnerable, back yeah. air, like, run in, like, I'd definitely grab wait. this option and then, like... Definitely superior to a four-man rotation as well. <laughs> yeah. You get to keep playing melee, even if it's crazy melee. Real eSports hours. How come the dark side of boys aren't teaming? Actually, good question. That would be evil. <laughs> That would have, maybe that's maybe they're just like now neither no one would have fun not even us. Also, I think that there's definitely like a little bit of a friendly rivalry between Josh and Spud. Like I think Josh would definitely yeah. prefer to beat him in doubles to rather than win with him. Like, yes, be a mu much more satisfying. Uh, I don't think a, a t-shirt changes how badly Sora wants to beat Spud yeah. <laughs> on the regular. Yeah, that's a lot of fox. Doing good. All right, they got away with it, but I feel like I've never seen Spud just like not make a recovery like that. Yeah, maybe he was just stalling too hard. Yeah, too much respect for the edge guard. Wait, he was trying to wait for uh, Sock to get back, right? Because Sock's there, and it is invulnerable fox is extremely broken. Yeah, no. <laughs> if you thought Fox was good, have you heard about Invincible Fox? Oh, no. -y. Why did you go over there, Josh? Kill the one that's off there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> spicy. Like, oh, you want to SDI out of the first one? Oh, uh, bad luck. And it turns out there's actually another fox with another up air right here. Oh, that's oh, so nice. God. It looks sort of nice, though. These boys are definitely looking good. Getting a little bit more coordinated with the uh, cut than Spud and Sock. Both Spud and Sock have, like, I don't know how to, like, their personalities and their players, like, a little bit more individual. Like, I don't know if you've, if you've ever watched Spud play, like, the way he combos is often quite convoluted. Yeah, it's like, insanely Spud. It's not like, like, the way Zane combos, like, I feel like it's very Zane, but it's very, like, optimal Marth. It's like, wow, that's a really good way to play as Marth and beat people. And Spud is just, like, the Mega Man thing's playing in his head the whole time. <laughs> and he's just, like... Every single combo is like, he's trying to make clips. Like, he's just trying to have fun. Yeah, and I don't know, he just like uses a lot of weak hits and all sorts of really complicated just options. Ridiculous extensions. Yeah. Which is not optimal for doubles. He's very fast no. and very good at the game, but like that's not how, you know, to get a good he's team not combo, you just, beating, efficient. Hit, you just like yeah. needy mare them back to your teammate. That's it. Like, you're going to have to go for some crazy soft hit. In fact, it's almost worse because it's hard for your teammate to get to the right spot and follow that up. But hey, I mean, if they can... But he's also guard, really yeah. good. Yes. He's also very good. Okay. But we have got the Fox Boys with a slight lead. Ooh. They're doing a really good job of, um, like, just following up each other's like sharks. Like if someone else if someone's coming down, they're both covering it. Mm. Covering different or, spaces. Yes. So or at least threatening it in a way that's really strong. It makes it hard for them to get down. Yeah, see like even though Spud got a juicy up tilt there to start up, like he couldn't do anything because there's two foxes there. If he tries to go and hit one of them, the other one's gonna get him. Yes. <laughs> I like that. His footsteps. Yeah, and the way he, he just like gets stuck vibrating left to right. But it is insane. It's so hard to play Marth in 1v2. There we go. That'll do it. I mean, he could have DI'd and he might not have died. However, I guess. 
complete. He was kind of It's so hard to win a 1v2. Yes. Very difficult, in fact. Even as spotted. Even if you have a huge, like, 100%, they're both on 100%, you still shouldn't win. Unless you, like, start off in a sort of 1v1 with a non -B. Take that soft stop. Very efficient. And, like, no spot to save. I just did like an 80% okay. con. They're just both. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> god, that, like the accuracy on that B and like not hit. Oh my god. Work, Spud, but also great work, Don B. Like, credit to. Oh, what? How did Spud die? He really got caught on the battlefield. Yeah. Really credit to, like, both teammates there that both like, got in there and prevented either a player being edge guarded when. Yeah. That's some good doubles. Good sustaining doubles. Great crouch. Not dead. Don't go up there! <laughs> Crouch cancel! There we go. Don't be. Oh. F smash that really worked. <laughs> Over this. Ah. Slow. Work sock to occupy Josh Man for a second there. That's about to finish up his head go. Why is there a mark on my screen? Spud's really good at melee. <laughs> He's really good. I'm so excited for the end of this. Yeah, it's a tight battle. That's big, like, those yeah. are those moments where you go for them. Like, if you get too high percent, it's like, they... <laughs> What's going on? Just listen to the sound. That was what insane. That's such a, like, a ridiculous, like, like that situation he was in when they were, like, he started that combo from on the top platform where like the fox came towards him but was like uncomfortably high. What most people would do is like try and hit like a weak or strong up air and you can't follow up off either of those at that height. The fact that he hit the back air, like that was just a ridiculous combo. Like that's such a hard situation to like capitalize on and Spud is so stupidly good at the game. <laughs> Dombey's like was trying to get in there. He's like, wait, what the hell is this combo? Where's it going next? Like what? Apparently the blood oh, no, is soft here. Yeah. <laughs> Bottom one specifically. Ooh. They're just trying to be cool. Oh, oh, definitely the right idea. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. That'll yeah, happen. That'll get you. As it turns out, that will get you. Yeah, like that would have been a sing singles edge guard. Yes. Not so in doubles. Damn, serious. Spud was like very enthused saying something to stop there. I think it's so brutal if Marth can set up a, a down air like that in the kind of general flow of the game as well. It turns yes. like a basic combo. It's like a back air into a stock. It's not fair. Oh, Ooh, <laughs> yes, Don B. Oh, interesting that Josh. Uh, I'm not sure if he could have gotten back there. I think he was just outside of range anyway. Still, like, right. you gotta go. Like, what? Like, you never know what's gonna happen. Often it can be worth getting, like, well, is it, you have to think is it worth getting back faster on the respawn, or should I occupy the other team trying to edge guard me? Yes. Turns out there's a lot to think about in doubles. Yeah. I mean, I think your default should be recover, though, right? Because yes, I, I wanna you say. You might also just get back on the stage, which is very valuable. It's pretty good. Having one more man is. Effective. Shine. Oh, that was also a great a good shine that just sent the wrong way. Sad. Oh, 
Oh, oh the got off the barely. I genuinely thought he was dead. Woo, pick up. Oh no, yeah, that's Josh Man's fault. You should not have gotten off the ledge there, buddy. We definitely need to get on that custom slippy UI meta so that you can see what the goddamn hell is going on on Dreamland Doubles. What's the, oh, the white. They like use slippy yeah. to make a custom UI, so it's like the percentage oh, is smaller near yeah. the bottom, so you can just see what's happening. What? what? He's a madman! What the f- <laughs> This was a close game and then Spud's just like, I'm gonna somehow do a ridiculous side B combo. Is and now same? we're winning. What's the interesting about melee, and I guess this comes, like this is true for most fighting games, is you can get so good that you can actually play by man. a different set of rules. Like oh, you're yeah. actually playing, like, not only is it one of those things, like, you literally have a different book that you have to like, different rules to abide by. And like the things that work are just all different and like, yeah, meta game, right? Everyone else has to be like, oh, I have to try really hard just to hit my ledge dashes, and then Spud gets to be, I can dare you from the top of the stage, from the middle of Dreamland. Go home, eat your Wheaties, practice hard. Don't worry, kid, you're up next. Be, nice. <laughs> be good, be friendly, be good to people, and then you will have more people to practice with as well. If you're not friendly and nice to people, people will want to play with you, even if you're not good. It's very close, true, very clutch. That nair, I like that nair positioning. That was a good choice from, Sp uh, from Spud. I'm not sure if he was getting back anyway, but to just like quickly lose the stock and get back to the 2v1. Miles is going hard. This, the, like, Miles is definitely like born in the scrap, molded in the scrap. <laughs> but he was, he like, dead. okay, that was dead. <laughs> but, he, but he was doing really well. Like, he was just zooming across the stage. <laughs> Doing just honest work. You can't end up four stocks to one down though and really expect much to come of it. No, but what are you gonna do? Not let it rip? And maybe like they might give him a little bit of good momentum. Ooh, this is custom. This is generally <laughs> a lot of people would say this is Mark's best stage in doubles. So because just you can get quick kills. Yeah, and like his sword is big on this his stage. His sword is big. It, it, does, it does get a buff on this stage. It's one of the problems with Martin doubles is that he can be a bit slow. And he saw too long before he Fox got damn stage. <laughs> <laughs> but like compared to Fox in doubles, Martin's slow. Yes, moves absolutely. Take a long time and the things that make Fox, uh, that make Marv good apply less in doubles. Asterisk, not, not at all, just less. Yeah. Down air spikes actually like possibly even better. Uh, sure, that's uh, one way to help your teammate out. <laughs> smash. What the hell, sock? Just like catch these feet. Don't go ledge. Why is like? Oh my! When your teammate's about to come back, you out. Vulnerable fox has got you. Always trust him. Again, again like. Oh, what's he gonna do? Oh, great tech. Ooh. Is this the angle loop? Ah! That hurts. <laughs> Alright, bye, Mark. Spud just wanted the down air so badly. He'd give anything for it. Right. Good SDI. The thing, like, with doubles, there's so much happening. A lot of, like, lower level stuff in some situations becomes, like, a lot more, like, uh, a lot more viable, like up or up air, I would argue, is like a little bit better in doubles because it's hard to be more aware. Like, you're less likely to get the DI and you're less likely to hit the SDI. Stuff like um, Martha vs. Martha doubles, it's like much more likely that you'll get forward through forward smash. Yeah. There's awesome. just so much, you're processing so much information, it's hard to react to individual little pieces. Ooh, very nice. Some of the risk rewards change in doubles as well. Absolutely. Uh, like, killing off the top is extra valuable because that's more time you can 2v1. You know, the so at the very least, rack up damage or hold stage or get a kill. You don't have to deal with the invulnerable respawning character. Alright, if Red Team can get a stock here, they probably really need two stocks. Why would. But if they can get two stocks, like, even if they're alive at like 100%, that's a, a 2v1 is still gonna be in their favor. So not too far off for them. Ooh, 
Oh. Did that back air save that mark? I think it might have. 112%. He might have died from the half smash. Yeah, probably. I mean, he could DI. Oh, oh no, he soft. held up and in. Probably SDI'd up and in as well, to be honest. Is that good? <laughs> yes. Just hang it. Here we go. See? This is advantage red team all of a sudden. Although Spud yeah. is. <laughs> Okay. Maybe it's advantage spud, just because it's spud. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so close. Was that ASDI? Oh, God. It's, it's honestly... It goes to show, like, how much... Got him. Oh, he did get him. Just roll up! Yes. yes. <laughs> It goes to show how much respect they had for Spud as a player there, that they were both just like, they literally had him in the middle, and all three of them were just holding shield. Low key though, 2v1, if you're the two, shield is so good. Just stand close-ish to each other and yeah, shield and wait, them. If they do something, you just hit them. Yeah. If, they, and if, they, if they are dumb enough idiots to grab, then you hit them. Ooh. Yeah, don't... I, Better for Fox, I think. It's like you don't have to worry about Mark Chang grabbing you. you yeah. Run around and like big wide stage. You can probably stay in the middle a lot. I could see. Uh, I could see stuff like the way Spud tends to convert being more valuable on FD, or like in doubles, because I feel like he'd be able to get kills more quickly as opposed to like him like uh, hitting like going into longer workflows on triplads. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! He almost got that F smash off the uh, Fox. That would have been insane. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I heard it. Yeah. I heard it. <laughs> Is he gonna kill them? Oh, yeah. 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 Definitely yeah. time to yeah. give up when the invulnerable fox comes back. Ah, Dumpy! Didn't want to get grabbed there. Like we had the fox sandwiched. Like game five, converting on those. Well, that's nice. Sometimes, like, I don't know if you saw Sock hit up. Oh, yes. Eliminate that Fox stock. Fox did, uh, Sock did an up throw up smash before and then like tried to tech chase but what he could have actually done is run over and help Spud because there's a fox who's going to be busy teching okay nice that was a good little save Spud. yeah although down tilt is a bit of an interesting way to go about it that, that, can, that can just delete yeah you see Sock had to up B and like he got away with it but but it's dangerous Still, definitely better than doing nothing. Yes. Why is Spud countering so much? I don't know. It's like even if it hits, it doesn't really lead to anything. It, it's just like a get off me. Yeah, but... You have Especially at the edge, like you're not hitting anyone off stage with it. Good DI. Oh. oh! Oh, and he dies for it! Don't be! Shine. Donald, re ready. Oh! Not worth risking too much to get involved in saving. And I think a lot of the calculus will change depending on the stock situation as well. Like, if you've got a high percentage stock and you can save your low percentage teammate, it's worth taking way more risks. And then if you've got a... a a lead that like you throw away if you oh huge <laughs> <laughs> okay mm, I don't like it though because there's a hunt like that all it's done is like kick it down oh the huge shine oh my god never mind he knew sock was gonna come in clutch but one hit on ah uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh good pick up yeah Oh, that, that was, was so close. Really clean play at the end. Good stuff from the boys. Everyone played well. Good games, everyone.
I reckon there are uh, probably two people on the stage who disagree. Oh no. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. oh, that was winners finals. That was oh, winners finals. Racing through it. Hope you uh well you could have made plans this evening. If, hope you didn't keep your evening clear for us because we'll be done pretty not soon. Too long. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how losers is going. Yeah. I assume we'll have some losers matches coming up. Some Luf, have some Elizabeth.